The content you're about to enjoy comes from the archives of The Best You. We're devoted to the very best in personal development. With a magazine and resources dedicated to inspiring and changing people's lives, at The Best You, we work with the world's leading writers and trainers on the evolution of the self and people whose journeys have been affected by their work and words. For more information, go to www.thebestyou.co. Can everybody hear me okay? Lovely. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to get started. Um, my name's Emma Ross. Hi there, girls. Come on in. Um, for those of you that are thinking, I'm not here to see an Emma Ross, I did take this stand and this talking spot over two weeks ago. So there was a Melina Horbury booked um, to take on the speaking slot. So if you were here to see her, I'm really sorry. But if you'd like to stay and hear me, there is a reason you're supposed to be in this room today, for sure. Um, a little bit about myself. I am a yoga teacher by background, trained in that about four years ago. I do um, different types of body work, bone therapy, myofascial release and other kind of, kind of all those feel good things, maybe a little bit fluffy to the gents in the, in the room. <laughs> but um, I just combine a lot of modalities together now and look at treating people as a holistic approach to health. And that's kind of what drew me into the essential oils in the first place, looking at kind of coming into the proactive health care in the body and the emotional and healthy mindset by using loads of different approaches. So, um, yeah, I basically wasn't a yoga teacher in that up until five years ago. Before that, I actually worked in the oil and gas energy industry up in Aberdeen in Scotland. So from there, I've, I worked pretty much, if anybody's been in an office job or still is in an office job, maybe a 40-hour week, love my sports, love my socialising, and basically put myself up against it, saying yes to everything, every social gathering, yes to my friends, I'll help you here, I'll help you move house, since again, most of you are probably sitting there going, yep, done that, and really feeling, you know, when you hit a weekend and it was back to work on Monday, oh my goodness, I'm so, so tired, my body's just exhausted, and then it got into the point I actually got injured. Um, I was playing touch rugby to a really high level. So again, sports, high intensity, which I loved. And I hurt my back and then I had to kind of find something else. So I got into my yoga and things like that. And that's kind of what made me realize that I did have to take a little bit of a step back and care more for myself and, and not what, I'm saying not what I was doing for others. I'm in a therapy business. I, all I do is care about others, but I realized that I had to kind of have a bit of self-care and a bit of self-love for myself. So because I stepped in the talk two weeks ago and I wasn't sure what Melina was speaking about, I entitled the talk Dream, Believe, Achieve. And if any of you have heard of Gabby Bernstein at all, she's a motivational speaker. Um, she's entitled one of her books, The Universe Has Got Your Back. And I wholly believe that the universe has got plans for all of us. Um, sometimes I do believe, though, you've got to put in that bit of work or just push yourself and push yourself, put yourself out there to make that thing happen. And I just wanted to share a couple of stories with you as to how the universe had my back and I actually ended up here today with you guys. So before we, yeah, I'm going to share some stories with you and then we're going to get onto the good stuff, the essential oils, putting them on our body and using them. And what I actually want to do for you guys today is kind of show you some protocols I used when I first got into the essential oils to eliminate overwhelm, kind of stand in your power to project yourself and just generally feel good about yourself. So what I'll do is I'll run through my little stories just so you see how I came to be and why I'm in yellow and I smile a lot um, because I really trust that, yeah, if you put yourself out there and you're open to opportunities, it does happen. So story one, I told you I was in the oil and gas energy industry. I trained in yoga as a hobby more than anything else to prehab and rehab my sports injuries. I did it in the background. I started up some yoga classes and I also was doing my bone therapy part-time with my mum. So at mum's therapy room, evenings, weekends, I was doing that. I was working my 40-hour job and I was also teaching yoga and I was making it work, you know, sleeping maybe three, four hours an evening. And then all of a sudden I was organizing a networking event at work. It was a networking event for women. And we got this really great speaker up from RBS somewhere down in London. She came up and she stood at the talk and she said, if the one thing you girls do is set your boundaries, whatever profession you're in, you know, set your boundaries and stick to them. Because if people can see that you're happy to shift your boundaries, they will take 
not an inch, but a mile from you. And I said, like, you know what? That is spot on. And it kind of just kicked something in my heart. It started something. And I went back to work the next day. And I was like, I love my therapies. I love my yoga. I want to do more with it. And I knew the job I was in, there was no way I was getting out of 40 hours a week. So I emailed my boss and just basically said, can I reduce my hours or move to a role within the organization that's maybe a little bit less um, hectic and the rest of it? And he said, no, I'm sorry, you can't. No, let's speak about it or anything. And I was really quite upset that day and basically got an email within an hour. A girl said, hey, how are you? I'm so sorry I couldn't make it to your talk. And how did it go? And I was like, it was great. But you know what? I've just come back. I've just asked my boss about changing roles. And he said, not happening. And she just messaged me straight back. By the way, we've got a part-time job at our office. Probably would be totally great for you. Told me the wages, which was more than I was on already. And said, how how'd you fancy it? So I'm sorry to insult any of the guys in the audience. But sometimes as women, we sell ourselves short as well. And I was like, well, you've got some planning and some cost element in that. I could maybe cover the planning part but cost I've got absolutely no knowledge of. And she's like, we'll train you up. Don't worry, come speak to us. So that was my move into a part-time job. So I started building up my yoga therapies and things. And had that boss not said no to me, I wouldn't have had that courage. That email came out of the blue. I didn't have that courage to kind of move on and make that step. And that was great. I moved to the smaller company. We were working away. And if any of you know, Aberdeen in Scotland, oil and gas energy industry had a massive crash two, three years ago. So walked into an appraisal she said I'm really sorry in about six months you might be out of a job and I was like well do you know what I'm going to I'm going to start up my own business so I thought I've got therapy work going on I've got some yoga classes I've got a core group of clients I'm going to get in there now and start before the the bottom crashes out of the industry and loads of people are unemployed and then looking for what to do and I'm so glad I did it because again that kind of negative news for some people I was like well it's the kick up the bum I need to get out there put myself out there and it, do you know what it was scary I'm not denying it. I was like I'm excited I'm away to go and work on my own and then the week before I didn't sleep a wink the whole week in the run up to actually leaving a job that had security for me and was giving me a, a monthly wage but do you know what I'm surviving and I'm not standing up here today to go I own a multi-million pound empire because I don't and um, the stresses that come with being self-employed they're there slightly different stresses from working in an office but I love it um, and I can give back and I can suit my own hours and things like that and that was great so working holistic energy um, holistic energy yeah holistic therapies and with yoga my mum also is an aromatherapist by background and we've always used essential oils growing up I started cleaning my yoga mats with putting them on a line spraying them down with a hose and mum said, why don't you use essential oils? Because everybody's moving a more holistic way of cleaning things, getting chemicals out of their home. And I'm like, good idea, mum. So she gave me some tea tree oil, some lavender, some peppermint, and I just started cleaning them and thought, this is really good. And my auntie had actually been introduced to the doTERRA brand, which is the brand that I um, work with today. And she'd had breast cancer. So she was looking to change her, again, a holistic approach to health, how to use oils to kind of get rid of chemicals, how to use oils to heal her body, how to change her diet up. So my mum and my sister are very much like, oh, oils, we love them, let's get them. Whereas I'm like, oh, hang on, I need to look into these a bit more. I'm not awake going, get a bottle of oil and start using it because I don't know what's in and out of it. So I did my research, I did my homework and yeah, decided to go with doTERRA, not only because my mum said she loved the company and she loved the oils and how much benefit it gave, but because when I looked at the background of them, as a company themselves, they're ethical. They co-source their oils from the root source. So they will go to, say, for example, Nepal for their winter green at the moment. They take it straight from the trees. They teach the farmers who farm the land how to farm properly and not like tap into the tree so it's ruined and to leave the tree and go back to it, look after its health. Um, but they also, if that trees were under extinction or they were really looking like the crop was going to be ruined, they would stop farming from Nepal and they would find a new source. For complimentary resources from my book, my complimentary e-course, The Power of the Question, or recommended reads, go to www.thequestion slash resources. For more information on my coaching or mentoring, go to www.bernardo-moya.com. So that, that and that, and then adding the charity work that I do for every bottle of oil somebody purchases, a lot of giving back. I thought, you know what, I'll do it as a business. So I thought, I'll do it as a business. I started bringing them in my yoga and using them in my therapies. People started asking me to buy them. And I'm like, well, I actually sell them. Didn't again say, oh, I sell, sell oils, buy them from me. So it just naturally started happening. 
Um, so just jumping onto story two, doTERRA then at the start of the year did a, an incentive trip last year and said that anybody that got X number of points from people buying oils from them, they would pay for a trip for them to go to Vancouver to see the arborvitae trees distilled. I got a phone call last May to say, by the way, did you know you're on the leaderboard? No, nope, I didn't. I was literally sharing oils. People were buying oils from me. Um, you're 12 points away. The competition finishes in three days' time. I'm like, okay, right. So I was going to Mums and Babies Fair, and I thought, what am I going to do about this? Am I going to step up and try and win the competition? And again, it's not for me about going, buy oils, buy oils. So I did not want to go in to a Mums and Babies Fair going, please buy oils because it'll help your baby. Because you can't, you can't be seen to do that. Everybody's at their own time or level when they're approaching essential oils and holistic healthcare. You either want it in your life just now, or you might come around to it later on. But basically, I did this mums and babies pack. I sat all night writing out, oh, that would be really good for a mummy and that would be good for a baby and it would help with pre-post birth. And I stood at this baby fair for the whole day saying, hi, try some essential oils. We've got a really good deal today thinking if four people bought these oils, I would win one of the prizes to America. And I came away from there really disappointed because it didn't happen. And in my heart, I wasn't, again, saying buy oils for me. I just, it probably wasn't the right audience. Um, especially when you go to the northeast of Scotland, it's like, what does an oil do? What is an oil? Really, really kind of, we don't know what to do with them, so why would we buy them? And that's fair enough. Like I said, everybody's on their own journey. But what I did do is thought, do you know what? It's still an amazing kit, and I would love to get hold of that. And I knew some of my friends were interested, and they've been looking at oils, they've been asking me about them, but they hadn't done anything about it. So I went onto Facebook and said, this deal is for the next day only, because the competition was a way to close. I put it on at 10 p.m. at night, went to my bed, woke up the next morning, I had 13 messages. Can we please buy the oils from you? And I'm like, oh my goodness. 13 people wanted to buy oils, which gave me 12 points and I won the trip to America. And I took my wee sister, Fiona, <laughs> and we went to Canada and got to see the arborvitae trees being distilled, how the process works. Um, um, somebody from the um, First Nation came and spoke to us and actually said, thank you so much for taking this tree and then distributing it worldwide so people could actually use the healing properties of the tree and kind of spread in the education about why they use the oils for their natural medicine. Um, so that was really cool. And then what I'll do is I'll just quickly jump into story three about how I got here. Nice and short, promise. <laughs> um, basically, a month ago, I looked and I spotted the best expo. I've been to Tony Robbins last year. Again, we kind of got a free ticket through a friend, came down. And I was like, that was really high vibration, great people at the event. Everybody was kind of, when I say on the same level, we're all aiming to not just basically make things better about ourselves, about people, to just kind of raise vibrational energy in the whole room, the whole area, the whole world for some of us. And I seen the best you, and I thought it's the same people that run it. So I'm going to come down for the weekend and I'll get one of my friends to come with me. I'll check if they've got a doTERRA stand. Yes, I do. I'll go and say hello to the lady there. Um, two weeks ago, came home at 11 p.m. at night. On Facebook, this girl was like, I'm really sorry, I'm going to have to give up the stand. Does anybody want it? And this was on a European doTERRA page. And there was three people that already said, I'm interested. And I just messaged her saying, I'm so sorry to hear that you're not coming to the show. I'm going to be there anyway. Any chance I can take the stand off your hands? And she emailed me back the next morning and said, your energy on the message, I loved it. Um, she said, I'm a kind of, I'm more a spiritual coach. And she says, I want you guys to have that stand. She told me the price. I just about choked. No word of a lie. And I was like, but I'm going to make it happen. So I phoned my sister, some friends, everybody that's either using oils or wants to be involved in oils. And yeah, everybody made a commitment, not to me, but I think just for just coming down and just experiencing this whole vibrational energy thing that's going on. And yeah, so we're here and we're standing at stand D28 and there's nice smells and there's really nice community around it. And people are just coming up to the stand just if they want an uplift or a calming lift and, or want to know more about oils and bringing them into their lives. So basically, that's me. This is how I got here. And like I said, I always say there's a flow happens. And I, yeah, I really felt in my flow. All those times those things happen. I just felt open, free. I couldn't stop smiling and yeah, I just felt a big beam in my heart and that's when I, I know I'm in my flow. I've got no expectations from people, I've got no expectations on myself and that's why I wanted to stand up here and kind of do this I am fabulous protocol with you guys. Um, it's a lady in, I think she's in America, her name's Desiree Manadong and she's trained in Chinese medicine and acupuncture. So again, a lot about meridian flow and flowing through channels and opening channels and things like that. So 
I went along to a class of hers and I actually signed up for doing her course with her and it was just amazing. It was good fun, which we're going to have a nice interactive fun approach. But I did, I left that class and I was like, I'm uplifted, I feel good. And this is kind of, I'm saying a one-time thing. You don't have to go and go, I need to do this protocol continuously. Because the essential oils work in your body, they're energetically going to lift you. They're energetically going to make you go out of here, maybe walk up to somebody you were maybe a bit nervous about approaching and say, hi, I'm such and such and have a chat with them. Or maybe you were thinking, I might go and do that, but I'm not sure if I should, or I'm really feeling a little bit tired, I'll put it off. I guarantee you that this is going to basically give you a kick up the bum. It's going to make you go out. And I think everybody's nodding their heads. We maybe need a little bit of that. So I just want to ask you, I know I've seen a few faces in this room from yesterday, but who all works with essential oils or knows about essential oils? There are people, most of the hands maybe going up, there's a, a few half and half raised. Good. So I'm not up here to kind of give you a long-winded education. What I'm going to speak about is why they're being used on the body and what points they're being used on and what it's going to do for you. Oils can be used, essential oils can be used for physical um, help, like things like people use tea tree for earache or when you think of peppermint, a lot of people think digestion, so peppermint on the tongue or um, peppermint for migraines. But what we're looking at here is more like emotional support. And I really got into that in a big way. So I want to introduce some of the oils to you, but I, I digress. I just want to jump on essential oils for those of you that are kind of half and half. They are from roots, trees, bark, fruit, plants. So if you, like I said to people yesterday, if you rub an orange and then you smell that orange on your hands, that's the essential oils I've actually transferred onto your hands. So it's basically nature's medicine. Like trees protect themselves. They produce their own protection mechanisms. So when you're getting the bottles of pure essential oils, they're getting bottled up as nature's medicine. So all good, all good. So what I want you to do here is we're going to send them out around the room so you can try them on different acupuncture points. But if you're not happy to put oils on your body, some of them that we know are hot oils and they're diluted down with coconut oil, um, you can just pop your hand up. And when you get the oil, what to do is just smell it. And when you smell it and I tell you where to put it, you could just energetically put your hand onto that point or imagine that the smell goes down to that area of your body. Um, You don't have to put the oils on automatically. You just smell them in and they will permeate every cell in your body and they'll help the limbic system in your brain kind of kick off and give you what your body needs. Okie doke. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with eliminating overwhelm. So I'm going to introduce Melaleuca or tea tree to you. So the girls are going to come round and hand out some bottles of tea tree. And I said Melaleuca because it's um, sourced in Australia and that's the Australian name for tea tree oil. So some of you maybe think about that maybe for spots or antibacterial properties. But for this, what I want you to do is I want you to take the oil. If you've got a little bottle, I want you just to take the oil and tip it up like that. If you've got the roller ball, and we're going to place it onto our throat. So you maybe tip the bottle up and place it onto the throat. Just a little swipe. And then you're going to place it onto the heart and then a little swipe on the back of the neck. So throat, heart, back of the neck. So I'll let you guys pass it around. So what we're going to do here is if any of you, from this point of view, throat, heart, back of the neck, in an acupuncture point of view, if any of you have walked into a room and you're like, oh my goodness, there's been an argument going on here, or oh, that person's in a bad mood and it's almost affecting me. I'm getting jittery from it. What this is doing is cutting negative attachments. That's what Melaleuca does. It stops the negative hooks in your body. So by swiping it on the back of the neck and the front, it's giving you a bit of a clearance from people that are negative. Now, I know obviously people can't sometimes help if they're in a bad mood, but bringing it into your personal workspace or your life is another thing, especially if it affects your energies as well. So throw it back of the neck, onto the heart space. It also clears blockages in the heart. So again, if you are a bit of a people pleaser and you're like, yeah, I better do that because if I don't, they'll be in a bad mood with me. That's another way to kind of just clear that whole, almost gives you a small barrier. You don't want to put barriers up between people, but it kind of just gives you that little bit extra of protection. So that's your tea tree oil. So it's going on back of the neck, throat and heart. And then what we're going to introduce to you to add to this one for eliminating overwhelm is the oregano oil. So the girls are going to come round and pass out the oregano oil. And again, take the bottle, tip it on up, and then you're going to pop a drop on the top of your head. Yes. So from an oregano perspective, well, sorry, from a Chinese medicine perspective, we're popping it on the top of our head because 
the crown of the head is going to put the oils into your body through a channel quicker. And yeah, we're popping it on the top of the head because what it's going to do is it's going to quieten the ego. So I'm not saying any of you in this room are egotistical at all, but what it's going to let you do, it's going to let you be a bit more open and flexible. So if some of you are maybe stuck in your ways and you're like, this is the way I'm doing it and there's no way around it, you know, and then you're like, using the oregano actually helps kind of let you see what's in front of you and you then maybe start to think, maybe I should change the way I'm thinking or maybe I should just feed off this way a little and see how it goes. So popping the oregano onto the top of your head, there we go, great, is what we're going to do with that one. Lovely. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add suppress or cypress oil, which is sitting here. And you're going to get the roller balls of suppress or cypress oil. And you're going to hopefully, everybody's got friendly clothing for this talk. And you're going to take the roller bottle and you're going to pop it on the elbow creases. Here's me. Didn't think about my outfit for wearing today. And you're going to pop that suppress or cypress oil. It's diluted down with fractionated coconut oil. So it's, for, um, again, popping on. And that's why you're like, why is there a bigger amount in that bottle? Everyone's like, let's get stuck in. So yeah, it's cypress oil onto the elbow creases. Now, the elbow creases for, again, your meridians, your chi flow, is your liver and your pericardium and your heart. So that's where these energy channels are. Good. So pop in the suppressed cypress oil into the elbow creases. It's a very cleansing oil. And this is the one, you know, when I said about a kick up the bum, this is one of the ones that actually makes you want to kind of go forth. It makes you step up. It makes you do things. Everybody's having a little smell as they go. They're getting chucked on the body. You're like, what's going on? You're going to smell amazing when you leave here. But yeah, there's loads of different scents going on. So obviously you're breathing that in as well as it being on your body. And yeah, so the suppress oil is really, really good one. Like I said, it's kind of making you step up, stand out. So we put the oregano on the head. Again, it's like, I'm maybe not quite happy to go that path. So the oregano should just let you be that bit more free-willed, that little bit more flexible. And then the suppress oil makes you step up and go forward. Basically go for it. So that's your kind of eliminating overwhelm. It's really good to do. Again, if you just, again, not 100% confident in what you're doing and you're like, why not? I need a, need a little bit of support, whether it's wearing a bright color like yellow um, or standing in a power stance, you've also got the essential oils that you can take into play as well to make you feel good. Good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move on. So we've eliminated that overwhelm and we're now going to boost our self-esteem. So there's some people going, yes. And it was really interesting because today at the stand, there's a few people actually came up and I was like, I love the color you're wearing. I love that scarf. And they were like, well, do you know what? I wasn't feeling 100% great today. So I thought I'd pop on a color or a nice red lippy or something like that just to kind of, yeah, feel more confident about themselves. So we're going to use oils as well as nice color dressing and lipstick and nice hair and things like that to kind of create that self-esteem in us. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pass around fennel oil. So I've got sweet fennel here. You guys going to grab that and pass it over. And again, we're going to take the bottle, just roll it into the hands and you're going to pop a drop on each wrist crease here. So the sweet fennel, it's basically a self-confidence, self-esteem. Like I said, it's boosting that self-confidence in yourself. We're going to pop it onto the wrist creases and it's going to basically let you look after yourself, do what matters to you. So again, remember I said those people in the audience that say yes to everyone because they want to help. They may be people please and then they maybe overcommit to so many things and then they think I'm really tired at the end of the day. Why did I just offer to do all that for everyone and anyone and now I'm knackered? This is basically all about you. It's going to make you believe in you making the right choice for yourself. And yeah, breathe it on in, sweet fennel. It is lovely. It's a lovely oil and I do use it quite a lot. If I, again, if I feel that I'm dropping back into that yes, 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 yes. Oh my goodness, I've got no time to go and go to the gym or something like that. So this is what this one does. It looks after your self-esteem and yeah, it makes you want to go, okay, I can do that for you, but actually, can you wait till the end of the week and I will get round to it? 
because I need to go and have some me time right now. So hopefully breathe it in and hopefully you actually feel that from the oil. And like I said, it's going to kick into your cells and raise the vibration. So if you raise your energy, the people around you are going to actually feel that energy off you as well. And maybe sometimes they might not think you're such a pushover when you're just kind of like, actually, I've got to go and do my own thing. So yeah, be self-confident using this oil, the sweet fennel. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to move on to our bergamot and grapefruit. Now, normally I would put this oil on, put these oils on individually. I'll get the girls to come over and grab them. But because we're in a talk scenario, and I've never done a talk to this many people, we've put them again into roller bottles. So we've put bergamot and grapefruit, and they're both them um, citrus oils. So a lot of them, they're uplifting. They've got a little bit of like calming in them as well. But what we're going to do with these ones is we're actually, if any of you are okay to, lift your top and you're going to put it onto your solar plexus area. So that's kind of this abdominal area here, right here. So this is your seat of self-confidence. It's also kind of where your willpower is as well. And if you think of somebody saying, so I know if some of you might be like, I can't even get my top up. If you can get your hand down your top, go for it. Or if you just want to smell the oil and pretend, breathe it in and pretend it's going down to this area or put your hand there and just breathe the oil in while your hand's on your solar plexus. So for some of you, you know, if you get butterflies in your tummy for a good thing or a bad thing, or some of you sometimes maybe use the phrase sick to the stomach, and that's kind of where it's kicking in. So by putting our bergamot oil and our, yeah, grapefruit oil on, amazing. Everybody's like, ooh, I like this one. But just popping it on here, it's basically, again, it's just going to give you an uplift. It's going to make you be your brighter self. And again, it's looking to enter into the system, kind of through into the solar plexus area and just energize. Again, like I said, that whole self-confidence boost. Um, I love grapefruit and I love bergamot, both of them. And yeah, I could, I could basically shower in them. Is there still a few more people to get? If you guys pass them up the back, that would be great. Thank you. For more information on collaborating, partnering, sponsoring, supporting or speaking at any of our events or finding out more about our legacy clubs, go to www.thebestyou.co. If you're interested in finding out more about the amazing content we have, please go to www.thebestyou.online and get your 14-day free trial now. So I did say it kind of gives you that boost and it makes you feel all cuddly and snuggly. And that basically these oils combine together to give you love and self-acceptance. Like I said, doing things for yourself with our first oil, our fennel, and then love and acceptance and kind of basically standing in your power. Um, again, it took me a good while to be able to do that and stand up and say, I am enough. So I, that's why I really want you guys to use these oils today and just go out of there kind of basically walk out of there a badass and I keep using ass and that and I'm really sorry for anybody gets offended by those words but I do want you guys to go out there super energized and just confident that you can take anything on board okay so what we've done is we've popped that on the solar plexus I told you it's about love and acceptance and about loving yourself and um, so if nothing today when you leave here think of those oils and yeah go and get yourself a nice coffee or whatever works for you as your little self-treat when you leave here as well think of those nice fruity oils and go and treat yourself or come for a free treatment on our stand. That's the other thing you could do on D28. <laughs> okay, so from boosting self-esteem, we're going to move over to clarity and vision. So some of you guys actually, I met some people here yesterday that actually came up saying, I've quit my job, I've left my job, I'm thinking about leaving my job. There's somebody in the audience going, I hear you. It's quite a lot. And I think that's an amazing thing about the Best UX. Expo. There's always people here looking for what to do or maybe looking for a little bit of direction so these oils that we're going to introduce now is what's going to kind of give you that clarity it's going to give you that focus and these oils will go into your system and what they're going to do is they're going to make you again stop procrastinating start doing getting more clarity about what your actual true path is and maybe those little things you've been putting off you're maybe going to go after them because that's going to be your next stepping stone to where you should be going um, a lot of us, yeah, I, me, myself, I have been known to procrastinate. I'll do that tomorrow. Or I maybe don't put 100% into things. So these oils are basically going to make you be that 100%. God, I'm claiming big things about these, haven't I? Let's get energized. Let's get in our power and let's get clarity and vision. So I use Douglas Fir and Spearmint from the protocol. And again, I've put these in separate bottles. So basically Douglas Fir and Spearmint are, yes, yeah, so you have to take two each <laughs> 
So one in one for Douglas Fir Spearmint. So you guys are going to basically take your Douglas Fir and drop it on out. <laughs> and you're going to put it on your throat chakra. But when you do pop it out, take a nice smell of it. It's a really deep woody smell. It's not going to be for everyone. It's a really nice grounding, grounding smell. And then you're also going to get spearmint. And from the spearmint, you're going to then drop it out onto the finger. And you're going to also pop this one on the top of the head. And if you've got Douglas Fir and Spearmint together right now, take a smell of the two of them together because they are amazing. I actually put these ones on because I'd read that they were good for doing things. And I was, it was a day in my house. I was like, I must tidy my house. I must do this. I must do that. And I got a hold of that, put it on my head. And I don't know if it was the placebo effect or if it was the fact, you know, I knew that was supposed to make me do things. I was cleaning my house. And I ended up going up to my mum's in the afternoon going, you must try these. You must try these. It's going to get you moving. So like I said, the Douglas fir, it's going to go onto the throat and if you can as well, maybe pop it on the back of the neck too. Oh, sorry? The spe you haven't got spearmint yet? Oh, you've got the spearmint. Top of the head with the spearmint. Yep, yeah, again, right down through the head into the body. So the, the, I call it Dougie Fur. I've named him Dougie Fur. So the Douglas Fur just basically is saying it helps create the map to get there. So just what I said before, it's looking for your true purpose, looking for your true path. And then the spearmint adds on top of that. And it basically, it's looking to get rid of clutter. So it's oil to get rid of clutter. <laughs> Hence the reason I probably went cleaning madly around my house that day. And it basically, it's oil for speaking your truth. So again, sometimes if you want to, you could put the Douglas fir and the spearmint on your throat. Um, Fiona, my little sister, she actually makes it up as a speaker's blend and puts it on whenever she's got to do a talk on dogs and horses and essential oils. You can see here I can speak for Scotland, but obviously standing up in front of a lot of you, <laughs> it's a little bit more um, daunting. So yeah, speaker's blend. If you know you're going for a talk or you're going to maybe be a way to have a difficult conversation with a boss or a loved one, and you maybe do want to say, look, I think you're taking advantage of getting me to do all these things, you pull your weight. The Douglas fir and the spearmint, you will be able to smell the difference between the two. And then one's woody and one's really nice and minty. So yeah, pop them on, throw it back of the neck with a Douglas fir and on top of the head with the spearmint. Great, I'm just spotting the time, but hopefully and we've got eight minutes, so I'm going to get the last one in so we can do the whole protocol and be built up and good to go. Um, we're going to go on to project yourself. So everyone's still smelling the oils. And I am so sorry to rush you through. Okay, I've been told to slow down. I've eight minutes and slow down to me when I'm going to probably be like, oink, off the stage. Um, doesn't factor in, but yeah, please put your oils on, pop them all on, and then we'll get on to project yourself. Good. Everyone's looking about. What we'll do is we'll start. Are you guys good with your Douglas fir and your spearmint? Yeah, we'll get on to the next oils then. So what we're going to do is now is project yourself. It's one last oil to go, and it's ginger and cinnamon. So your ginger oil and your cinnamon oil, they're hot oil, so they've been diluted down quite a lot with fractionated coconut oil. And what we're going to do here is they're going to go back on the solar plexus and fire up. They're going to go into the heart, the lungs, like I said, that kind of system. And it's to bring that fire in your heart. So you're ready to go out, go forth, and basically do whatever you want. Whatever you want. It's not what anybody else wants you guys to do. So the ginger and cinnamon oil is going out, so it's going to go onto the solar plexus and also onto the wrist creases. So you're going to be rocking a lovely perfume of spearmint, Dougie fir, cinnamon, ginger. Um, so if you want to pop that on solar plexus, everybody's like, I don't want to hand this over because it smells good. <laughs> solar plexus and wrist creases and then pass that oil on to the next person. Hand out some oils around there and all good. So I'm just going to jump back to my notes for my ginger and cinnamon because I've only really started using the ginger oil recently as a, in a manifestation blend. I've not used it a lot. And I know it's physical properties for health care and nausea and lactic acid buildup, but I've never really used it on an energetic level before. So forgive me, I'm just going to check my notes. Basically, it's oil of empowerment. That's what I've got here. Oil of empowerment and ginger makes you step up and go all in. 
So like I said, they're hot oils. They're going to fire the body up. I do know somebody that actually puts a drop of both of those under her tongue before she goes to speak. She's a public speaker and obviously makes her mouth hot. So she wants to speak and be powerful. So hopefully you smell that. You put it on the solar plexus, you put it onto the wrist creases and you actually are feeling a lot more energized. You're feeling nice and warm and good to go. And I'll just let you guys just pop that on. Solar plexus, wrist creases. Brilliant. And just pass it on so everybody's got a bottle and used it. So it says it's going to fill your heart with passion. We've covered the boosting self-esteem. We've covered the eliminating overwhelm. So what I want you just to do now, because we've been putting on our oils and things, is I just want you, if you can, is to close your eyes. Although we've just put a hot oil on, you might be like, I don't want to close my eyes. I want to get out that door and go speak to more people. But if you can just close your eyes for one minute for me, and I want you to just take nice deep breaths. So the spearmint should open that respiratory system. Exhale and just relax and release the shoulders. And next time you breathe in, I just want to breathe in that nice deep breath all about you. Breathing in the energy, breathing in the high vibes, the vibrational energy from you, from the oils, from everybody else here in the room. Good. Taking nice deep breaths in. So I came here today to say dream, and I want you to dream as big as you can. Keep breathing. Nice deep breaths. I came here today to say believe, and that is to believe in yourself and also believe in others because they just might need it. Just one day when they're actually doubting their self and you put a little bit of belief and love their way, send it their way. And most of all, I want you to achieve. And I want you to achieve what your heart desires. So I said your, not what anyone else wants you to achieve, what your heart desires. So when you're ready, take a nice deep breath in just for you, just for your beliefs, just for your dreams and breathe on out of there. And when you're ready to open your eyes, and I'm sending a massive hug from me to you. Thank you so much for coming along. <laughs> Round of applause to you all. Um, please note as well, like I said, they're pure essential oils. So they'll be going into your system. They'll be working away in your system, just like medicine does, natural medicine and healing properties. So if you go out of there and you feel a little bit emotional or you feel a little bit hyper and things like that, even in the next two, three, four days, they will still be kicking into your system and working with you with blockages as well. So if you've kind of rooted down something like I'm not good enough or... I'm a bit overwhelmed, but I'll kind of keep it to myself and not let my family know. That kind of manifests, like I said, kind of in the solar plexus area in the body. So you might feel in the next few days, emotional ups and downs, you might not, you know? So don't be surprised and don't be worried. Plenty water, lots of good sleep. We're at D28, the stand. And if you want to know more about getting essential oils into your life or kind of working with us, um, with doTERRA around the world, then please get in touch. And I'd love to see you free hugs available at the stand as well if you want to come ground yourself. Thank you so much. Thank you, girls, for helping me out. Thank you. For more information, go to www.thebestyou.co.